Okay, okay, I'm gonna wait to periaps. This is going to go. We're just gonna try and do a repeat of the same. We'll get into orbit around the moon and try and slingshot off more in this direction. I'm gonna burn too early. I need to burn a little bit later this time. Okay, let's go. Oops. Oh, my guys. Bill, Jeb, Bob, I may have to just apologize to you and your families because I think I may have just really screwed this up and not, and you guys may not be getting back. Okay. After all that talk, I was going to say if things didn't go well, I should have all abort and I'll make, I'll make certain they get back to Kerbin. <sighs> I think there's, I have stuff that I still need to learn about orbiting, don't I? I wonder. Would be the okay. Would be more efficient to leave it at this. Now I've got an orbit. Come, come out here, the apple apsis, and raise it. Make a really huge orbit that will eventually. Intersect Kerbin. Let's try that. How much fuel we got? That's what I'm gonna try. Instead of I'm, I'm not going to go for a, clo a close orbit around the moon again. <sighs> Floundering around in outer space, not knowing what I'm doing. More time compression. Oh, what happened? What did? What did? I didn't burn or nothing I just oh well that was good I I wish I understood what happened I really wish I knew what I was doing okay we're definitely going home now <laughs> God, it's a it's an emotional roller coaster it's like the guy in that Armaged Armageddon the movie does it what? Look, we're going, we're staying, we're going, we're staying, come on. Okay. I'll wait till we're just past the low point of this orbit. How much fuel do I have? Two thirds, okay. Good, right about there. Nervous about all this fuel I'm burning. Come on, guys, I just want to get it into the atmosphere here. Five hundred, four hundred. 300, 200, let's start slowing down here, 100, and there's in the atmosphere. Okay, okay, no matter what else happens now, I know that my Kerbins are, my Kerbals are eventually returning back to the planet. Got about a quarter tank of fuel left. Okay, I was nervous, I was scared, I thought I, I, thought I marooned these guys out in the vast emptiness of nothing but no they're getting back 
think we can think we can after this whole comedy of errors do you think it's there's an, any chance of actually making a a landing back at Kerbal Space Center this time around maybe oh we are technically in the atmosphere now huh just in the very the very high very thin reaches it slows me down slightly okay flip this thing around the other direction Definitely being much lighter in the controls now. Right about there. Okay. Bring that apopsis down. The path is staying pretty much right over Kerbal Space Center. That's good. Whoop, what happened? Oh, did I just run out of fuel? Yep, I just... Oh no, that's bad. I just ran out of fuel. Okay, still got RCS fuel, though. Yep. Get rid of that stuff. Ooh, yeah, all kinds of nimble now. Without all that mass on there. Alright, put it right there. Oops, hang on, that's right, I need to turn my RCS on. Oops. Oh, hang on, let's, before I do that, say so I had, let's recenter all my controls. Okay, be thrusting away with that. That's good. Very slowly changes the trajectory. Tell you what, let's shut it down right there, see what that does for us. Just kind of a blind guess. Okay, okay. Flip this thing around, get our nose pointed into the air. Pointed into the relative wind. Ooh, almost forgot what it's like to fly something that's all nimble and it turns fast. <laughs> there we go. I wonder what it's going to be like, how all these designs that we're coming up with, how these are going to fare once we have actually have to keep track of G-forces, once we actually have uh, the, the heat and pressure of re-entry so that... I bet you my grunt design won't work whenever we have a uh, more realistic re-entry mechanics implemented. I bet you. Okay, now there is no question we're definitely coming down. We are going to land somewhere. Will it be where I want to land? That's the question. Okay, officially in the atmosphere now. Very, very high reaches with its... There's barely any atmosphere. Tell you what, let's do some... Retro thrusting right now. With my RCS. This way, RCS. Whoa! Hey! Yeah, that's that's kind of twitchy, in it? It's burning up. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Whoa! Yeah, that's kind of difficult to control. 
Let's see what that did for my path. Oh, that's really good. I'm going to... I think I'm going to leave it right there. Okay, okay, okay. Coming up on the coast of Kerfrica now. Kerbal Space Center is in the east coast of Kerfrica. thousand meters per second you know what let's do some more retro thrusting right now let's burn the last of my RCS yeah, it's not making any appreciable different difference is it yeah, it's all gone now okay I think we're just gonna go screaming on by I see Kerbal Space Center there. Yeah, we're going to go screaming right on by. We're not getting back. <laughs> Matter of fact, we're doing a splashdown way out in the ocean. Whoa. G-force is starting to pick up a little bit. We are decelerating. Actually, I wonder. Let's try something. Let's try something. Whoa. Easy, Haas. Easy. Let's try something. Oh my god, is this going to work? Is this going to be a successful mission? Tell me this is going to work. <laughs> it's going to work. Oh, I'm happy. I am so happy. Oh, I wonder if this I wonder if that nose wheel is going to explode on touchdown. Oh, and I see the the bug other people have reported in the past I've read. Yeah, all, all you guys who, who think that like, landing on the runway is something really nifty. Guess what? The runway isn't even there this time. It looks to me like it's gone. <laughs> Just a bug that I've read about other people have encountered. Don't tell me that I judged I judged that re-entry correctly. Just goofing around with it. All, all the all the screwing everything up with the having no idea what I was doing at all with the uh, returning to Kerbin. First I was returning to Kerbin, then I wasn't, then I was again. Okay, moment of truth guys, let's just really not screw this up, huh? I'm fortunate that it's daylight. Don't screw this up, don't screw this up. Make as soft and gentle a landing as we possibly can. Slower, Nat. Slower. 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 All the time in the world. No hurry, no hurry. There's one slight touch down. Oh, 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 oh. Oh my god, that was a rough touchdown. Whoa, look at that thing wobble. Whew. Oh, the L isn't that awesome? There's the moon right there. Bill Kerman, Jebediah Kerman, Bob Kerman. Welcome back to Planet Kerbin. Welcome back to Kerbal Space Center. 100% mission success, even with the floundering around and not knowing what the hell I was doing. You guys made it. Oh my god, am I happy. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of a scary landing right at the end. 
<laughs> Looked like our, our, our center gear is, is just about ready to explode at any second. <laughs> Whew, okay. 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 But White Owl joins the ranks of Mooner Explorers. There and back again. Okay. Okay, thank you people, uh, YouTube people, thank you very, very much for, for watching the series. Uh, thank you even more for helpful advice and suggestions. I, I love comments. I love suggestions. Uh, I'm going to continue with this whole Let's Fly business. i got other stuff that I want to do. I am not done with Kerbal Space Program. I may take a short break from Kerbal Space Program and go uh, cover a couple other games that I want to see, but... Yeah, I'm definitely coming back to this, because it's, it's just about the best thing in gaming that I've seen in a long, long time, maybe ever. And it's still, it's still in development. Thank you very much. I will talk to you later. Bye.